Off the top, let's call it a census consensus. An undercount of just 1% of our population in the state of Texas could create a lack of funding of almost $300 million a year. That's why the city of San Antonio and Bear County are pushing for people to fill out the 2020 census forms. The census, a head count of every person living in the United States, and this data is used to distribute billions in federal funds to local communities. Tiffany Huertas has a look at the stakes and challenges with this upcoming census count. The undercount was a little over a million children in 2010 were not accounted for. Fast forward 10 years. We're seeing crowded classrooms. We're seeing uh, health care access issues, especially around mental health. The city's new census administrator says that's why this year households with children under the age of five are a key focus. What we know about the undercount is that usually it was in households where there was a situation where maybe a grandmother was a caretaker of a child and didn't understand that she should count that child or perhaps the there's a uh, two families living together and only one of the families was accounted for in the household. Last year the city of San Antonio and Bear County joined forces establishing the complete count committee a volunteer group focused on engaging and educating the community. As part of the complete count committee is we have established subcommittees and those subcommittees are working to target the populations that have historically been undercounted. For example, a seniors is one of those and we have an entire task force that's focused on seniors. Something that's new this year, people can fill out the questionnaire online. We are wanting everyone to understand that they can respond by phone, by mail, or on the internet. Rodriguez says 25% of our population most likely won't self-respond, meaning they won't fill out the survey online, by phone, or through a paper form. But we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. That 25 percent translates to a little over 480,000 residents. That means thousands of residents they don't know actually exist. We don't know the services they need. We don't know whether they have families with small children who attend our schools. So from a planning perspective, it's so important for us as a city to understand where is this growth? Here's a sample of the survey. It's about eight pages long, but you may not need to fill out all eight pages because it depends on your household size. The survey asks for things like age, date of birth, and ethnicity, but it will not ask personal information like your bank account number, social security, or immigration status. If we don't have an accurate count, we don't have accurate funding for programming and services for our population, right, for our residents. Now, it's services related to education, to health care, but it's also related to transportation. Rodriguez says another population they are focusing on is people 18 to 34 years old, another historically undercounted population. Fortunately, universities are helping out. Rodriguez says students will soon see flyers around campus and even a public service announcement about the census. Rodriguez says by mid-March, people will begin to receive information from the Census Bureau in the mail. Steve.